Hello, I'm Sula and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about making a Dobsonian cart to wheel around your Dobsonian. This is my JMI wheelie bar and it's meant to carry a telescope mounted on a tripod. These holes near the wheels are where you put the tripod legs and I kept my 12 inch Schmidt Cassegrain on it. So it's very heavy and wheeled it around very easily until the wheelie bar murdered my beloved telescope and then it's just been sitting in storage and I haven't known what to do with it but then I remembered I had this big board that was in the rafters of my garage when I bought the house and when I finally got around to insulating the garage a couple of months ago I took the board down and I thought this is a very sturdy board it would make a great base on top of the wheelie bar the wheelie bar has bolts that can be taken out to adjust the width to make the wheelie bar wider or narrower so i did have it very wide for the big field tripod but now i've made it narrow and those bolts are short but i got some longer bolts that i plan to drill holes in the wood and put the bolts through the wood and through the wheelie bar and that way i have a platform for a dobsonian I bought this paddle drill for drilling the holes in the wood. The wood looks very sturdy. It's not just plywood. So I think it's going to work. The only thing I have to figure out is how to secure the Dobsonian to the wooden base. And as you all know, I'm not very handy. So Omar is coming over in a little while to help me. And when it's done, I'll show you how I've converted a tripod cart to a Dobsonian cart. finished my Dobsonian cart. Well, mostly Omar did it, <laughs> but here it is. Now let me tell you a couple of things about it. I started with the JMI wheelie bar base and Omar bolted this piece of wood to the crossbars so that it could hold a Dobsonian. A big one. But a few things to know about making a Dobsonian cart this way is that the JMI wheelie bars are not cheap. I think I paid $400 for this medium size one and that was about four years ago. But now I think they go for $600. So that's a lot for a cart. And the piece of board was free. It was in my garage when I bought my house. And I bought a few bolts at the hardware store and Omar didn't charge me much to bolt the board to the crossbars and his main function was to put the telescope onto the cart for me because I didn't want to lift it and I intend to leave it there and that gets to the next point which is once you put your Dobsonian on a cart you're going to raise it. This particular Dobsonian is supposed to be able to be used without a ladder but once you raise it at least for me anyway and I am short I now have to use this <laughs> stool I'm sitting on if I want to look at anything close to the zenith or at the zenith. But other than that, it's a very sturdy cart. I did go to Ace Hardware and get some chains to chain it to the platform so that when I pull it, this wheelie bar cannot murder another one of my telescopes. And that hardware didn't cost very much either. It's just a short chain with some miniature carabiners on it and they go into an eyelet on the board. But there are much cheaper options, frankly, than what I did, but I already own the wheelie bar and so I'm just putting it to good use this way. And I think it'll work well, but I'm being extremely cautious now. <laughs> I'm not gonna let it commit two murders. A much cheaper option would be to just get a furniture dolly like this one that has a solid top. This one was very cheap. It was $23 and it's very sturdy and the wheels are nice and sturdy. 
but it doesn't have any stops on it. So don't ever let it run away from you. I preferred one with stops and I did look, but I couldn't find a sturdy one with a solid top that had wheel stops so that you push them down and then it can't move after that. So this is much cheaper. If you can find a furniture dolly with wheel stops or make your own, then that's a much cheaper option. But I think I put my wheelie bar to good use and now I have a Dobsonian cart. One other drawback to using a wheelie bar that was meant for a tripod for a Dobsonian is that the pull bar cannot be propped up against the telescope because then it would impede movement of a Dobsonian. So I have to leave it on the ground, which is somewhat hazardous, and I have to remember not to trip over it if I walk around the telescope. I put glow-in-the-dark tape on it. Actually, it's just connected with a simple pin that I can pull out and remove the handle when I'm ready to observe. And at the end of this session, just put it back on. That's pretty straightforward. Now that I look at it, I see how to secure it and keep it from falling off the wheelie bar. I had put the chains on the virtual mirror box, but that prevents the telescope from moving. So instead, I can connect this chain to the three pegs that the telescope sits on, and that way it can still turn. That's it for now. I'll see y'all soon. Till then, get outside and enjoy the night sky. Dark skies forever. Sula, signing off.